Gardasil, the HPV vaccine, has become a key player in the battle against cervical cancer. However, as with any vaccination, there are potential side effects that need closer examination. In this video, we delve into the various reactions that may occur as a result of the Gardasil vaccine, providing insight and understanding for those considering are already undergoing the vaccination process. Common Side Effects of Gardasil Gardasil is generally well tolerated, and most individuals experience only mild side effects, if any, after receiving the vaccine. The most commonly reported side effects include pain or swelling at the injection site, low-grade fever, headache, and dizziness. These side effects are typically transient and resolve within a few days. It's important to note that these mild side effects are expected and are a sign that the body is responding to the vaccine. The injection site may be sore or tender, but this discomfort is usually temporary. Similarly, a mild fever can occur as the immune system mounts a response to the vaccine, but it generally subsides quickly. Headaches and dizziness may also occur, but they are typically mild and short-lived. While these common side effects are generally harmless and self-limiting, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional if you have any concerns or if the symptoms persist or worsen. They can provide guidance on managing these side effects and offer reassurance. Rare but serious side effects of Gardasil While rare, there have been reports of more serious side effects associated with Gardasil. These include allergic reactions, fainting, and blood clotting disorders. Allergic reactions, although uncommon, can present as hives, difficulty breathing, or swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat. If you experience any of these symptoms after receiving the vaccine, seek immediate medical attention. Fainting, or syncope, has been reported in some individuals after receiving the Gardasil vaccine. This can occur due to a temporary drop in blood pressure and is more common in adolescents. To minimize the risk of fainting, healthcare providers often recommend sitting or lying down for about 15 minutes after receiving the vaccine. In very rare cases, Gardasil has been associated with blood clotting disorders, such as deep vein thrombosis, DVT, and pulmonary embolism, PE. The risk of these conditions occurring after vaccination is extremely low, but individuals with a history of blood clotting disorders should inform their healthcare provider before receiving the vaccine. It's important to remember that the benefits of Gardasil in preventing HPV-related cervical cancer far outweigh the risks of these rare side effects. However, it's crucial to be aware of them and seek prompt medical attention if needed. Controversies surrounding Gardasil and HPV vaccination The introduction of Gardasil and other HPV vaccines has not been without controversy. Some individuals and groups have raised concerns about the safety and effectiveness of these vaccines, leading to misinformation and skepticism among the public. One of the main controversies surrounding Gardasil is the claim that it can cause long-term health problems, such as chronic fatigue syndrome, CFS, and autoimmune disorders. However, extensive scientific research and numerous studies have consistently shown no causal link between Gardasil and these conditions. The safety profile of Gardasil has been rigorously evaluated and approved by regulatory authorities worldwide. Another controversy revolves around the age at which individuals should receive the vaccine. Gardasil is recommended for both males and females starting at the age of 9 or 11, before they become sexually active and potentially exposed to HPV. However, some argue that vaccinating at such a young age may encourage promiscuity or undermine the importance of safe sexual practices. It's important to understand that the vaccination is a preventive measure and does not condone or encourage risky behavior. Education on safe sex practices should always be emphasized alongside vaccination. Debunking Myths About Gardasil Side Effects Misinformation and myths surrounding Gardasil side effects have contributed to vaccine hesitancy and misconceptions. Let's debunk some of the common myths associated with Gardasil. Gardasil causes infertility. There is no scientific evidence to support the claim that Gardasil causes infertility in males or females. The vaccine is designed to prevent HPV infections and related complications, not to affect fertility. Gardasil can alter DNA. Gardasil is a protein-based vaccine that does not contain live viruses or genetic material capable of altering DNA. It works by stimulating the immune system to recognize and fight specific HPV strains. Gardasil is not necessary if you practice safe sex. While practicing safe sex can reduce the risk of HPV transmission, it does not provide complete protection. Gardasil offers additional protection against HPV strains that may not be prevented by safe sex practices alone. 
it's essential to rely on accurate information from reputable sources, such as healthcare professionals and scientific studies, to make informed decisions about vaccination. Tips for managing and minimizing side effects. If you or your child experience mild side effects after receiving the Gardasil vaccine, there are several tips to help manage and minimize these effects. Apply a cold compress. Placing a cold compress or ice pack on the injection site can help reduce pain and swelling. Take over the counter pain relievers. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, like ibuprofen or acetaminophen can help alleviate fever, headache, and muscle aches. Follow the recommended dosage and consult with a healthcare professional if you have any concerns. Stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of fluids can help prevent dehydration and may alleviate some symptoms. Rest and relaxation. Getting adequate rest and avoiding strenuous activities can support the body's immune response and aid in recovery. Communicate with healthcare professionals. If the side effects persist, worsen, or cause significant discomfort, it's important to seek guidance from a healthcare professional. They can provide personalized advice and address any concerns you may have. By following these tips, you can help ensure a smoother experience after receiving the Gardasil vaccine. Seeking medical advice for Gardasil side effects. While mild side effects are common and generally resolve on their own, it's important to seek medical advice if you or your child experience severe or persistent symptoms after receiving the Gardasil vaccine. Signs of a severe allergic reaction, such as difficulty breathing, chest tightness, or swelling of the face or throat, require immediate medical attention. Additionally, if you or your child experience any new or concerning symptoms after vaccination, such as prolonged or severe headaches, visual disturbances, or unusual bleeding or bruising, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional. Although rare, these symptoms can be indicative of more serious side effects and should be evaluated promptly. Remember, healthcare professionals are there to provide guidance and support, and they can help determine whether any symptoms are related to the vaccine or require further investigation. Legal considerations for Gardasil side effects. In rare cases where individuals experience severe side effects after receiving the Gardasil vaccine, legal considerations may arise. Vaccine manufacturers are required to provide detailed information about potential side effects and contraindications associated with their products. It's important to consult with legal counsel experienced in vaccine injury cases if you believe you or a loved one has experienced a serious adverse reaction to the vaccine. Each country has its own legal framework for addressing vaccine-related injuries, and it's crucial to understand the applicable laws and regulations in your jurisdiction. Legal professionals specializing in vaccine injury cases can provide guidance and assistance throughout the process. Alternative options to Gardasil for HPV prevention while Gardasil is the most widely used HPV vaccine, there are alternative options available for HPV prevention. Cervarix, another HPV vaccine, is designed to protect against the same HPV strains as Gardasil. However, Cervarix does not provide protection against genital warts. Additionally, consistent and correct use of barrier methods, such as condoms, can help reduce the risk of HPV transmission. However, it's important to note that condoms do not provide complete protection, as HPV can infect areas not covered by the condom. It's essential to discuss the available options with a healthcare professional to determine the most suitable approach for HPV prevention based on individual circumstances and preferences. Conclusion and final thoughts. Gardasil, the HPV vaccine, has been instrumental in reducing the incidence of HPV-related cervical cancer. While the vaccine is generally well tolerated, it's important to be aware of the potential side effects that may occur. Most individuals experience only mild and transient side effects, such as pain at the injection site or low-grade fever. However, rare but serious side effects, such as allergic reactions, fainting, and blood clotting disorders, have been reported. By understanding and addressing potential side effects, individuals can make informed decisions about HPV vaccination. It's important to rely on accurate information from reputable sources, debunk myths surrounding Gardasil side effects, and seek medical advice if needed. Managing and minimizing side effects can be achieved through simple measures such as applying cold compresses and taking over the counter pain relievers. If severe or persistent symptoms occur after receiving the vaccine, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional. Legal considerations may arise in rare cases of severe side effects, and seeking legal counsel experienced in vaccine injury cases can provide guidance. Ultimately, the benefits of Gardasil in preventing HPV-related cervical cancer far outweigh the potential risks of side effects. 
The vaccine has proven to be highly effective in reducing HPV infections and associated diseases. By staying informed and proactive, individuals can make informed decisions about their health and contribute to the ongoing efforts to eradicate cervical cancer.